Memorial Day atop the USS Midway is special. Dozens gathered on the aircraft carrier turned museum to honor the men and women who gave their lives for their country. Vice Admiral Steve Kaler says freedom is fragile. Today we commemorate more than 1.2 million men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Today we remember that freedom isn't free. Mayor Todd Gloria paid a special tribute to Captain Jennifer Moreno, a native San Diegan. She was an Army nurse who served and died in Afghanistan in 2013, and the first woman to have a VA medical center named after her. She represents the very best of our community. Gloria, Kaler, and a young Girl Scout participated in the traditional wreath ceremony. The silence was interrupted by a man who shouted the lyrics of a famous anti-war song. The ceremony ended with a missing man formation flyover. And the playing of Taps, the song that plays at the funerals of the fallen, a song that many, like Captain Jacob Richard Morgan, have heard so many times they lost count. Captain Morgan here has gone the extra, extra mile by being here in his 90s on his birthday Still fitting in his uniform, everybody. Do you see this? Morgan is a veteran who turned 96 years old on this Memorial Day. He served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. To him, Memorial Day means... Losing friends, especially my, my best buddy you know, I'm in Korea and, it, and a lot of other, you know, brave people who who sacrificed and gave it all. Outside of the USS Midway, another tribute was held to honor the fallen. Their names were read out loud and a somber bell tolled after each one. Raymond L. Henry, 21 years old. By reading the names, I think that's probably the greatest tribute we can do. That way they are not forgotten and they're recognized for what they've done and they can serve as an example to the rest of the country. This is what it's all about. Hunter Lopez. 22 years old, August 26, 2021, from Indio, California, United States Marine Corps, Corporal, Afghanistan. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.